I bet you're wondering why I asked you here. It's simple. We're going to destroy the Justice League. I was just kidding about that Justice League stuff. Uh, the real reason I'm here is because I got more stuff in the mail. But before we get to that, uh, how are you? I hope you're doing well. It is, as of this recording, May 6th. So we've had Star Wars Day. Uh, Cinco de Mayo was yesterday. Uh, I guess today is the Revenge of the Sixth. Anyway, so my state has recently just opened up and uh, opened up, I should say. Uh, but we're still being safe. <laughs> the entire month of April, I've kind of been doing these quarantine vlogs. They have been situated with me uh, more so around the house, in addition to these unboxing videos, just because I thought it would be something extra and fun to film and throw up on the YouTube channel. But I have been doing some quarantine vlogs, and I guess they're just kind of like the home vlogs where I just hang out around here and kind of do things. So those will be released uh, sporadically. Uh, I still have some Disney World vlogs. I think I have two or three more that I need to edit in addition to the quarantine vlogs. And then uh, these unboxing videos have all been kind of going out all mixed up, all willy-nilly. And I'm just kind of figuring it out as I get to them. <laughs> but enough about all that. Let's get to the reason why we're all here. I have the last two of the Transformers Seacons. The Generation Selects. I've got the TTGS07, the TTGS08. I believe this one is the Overbite and this one is the Tentacle figure. We're going to start in numerical order with the 7. We're going to put 8 off to the side. We are going to crack open this bad boy. If you want to take a look at the box, it's much like all of the other ones. I am going to assume uh, once I cut this open, there will be some. Uh, other box in here <laughs> with, with a slip and a whole bunch of Japanese writing on it and a brown box with a toy in it. Let's cut it open and find out. Guess who was correct? It was this guy. Let's take a look. All right, Transformers, Generation Selects, Seacon, Overbite. He's one of the few or the, the two where he didn't have a different name. Uh, so he's known as Overbite here in America, as well as Japan. To my knowledge, I'm sure that there's a Japanese Transformers aficionado out there watching this going, that's not the right name, I'm going to leave an angry comment. So, as far as I know, his name's Overbite in both America and Japan. And I did have this one uh, as a kid growing up. So let's dive in. Slipcover off. Box. Open. Ooh, I, I forgot how ridiculous his color scheme was from the pictures. Uh, the, before I show it to you, what you're about to see looks like an early 1990s windbreaker jumpsuit, but on a Transformer. That is what it looks like, this different combination of seafoam green and purple and... <laughs> I guess coral pink. So we get the, the overbite figure. Looks like he comes with a blaster and he comes with a sword. And once again, one of these fists. And here is the overbite figure. Let's, let's kind of scoot him off to the side here for a second. And let's look at what comes in the box with him. He's got this, Nice blue blaster. I think that complements his color scheme very well. And he also has a sword, much like the sword that came with the Scalor figure. Uh, they'll be able to piece together to make the giant trident slash sword for Piranicon. This one's really cool because once again it has that nice uh, slight pink metallic paint. But it has these uh, paint applications that match... Uh, the overbite figure, so it's this nice metallic pink and this nice dark seafoam green. And of course we have another fist that has come with 
just about all of the Seacon so far, so you guys have already seen this, so I'm not going to really care if I get it focused or not, but he's got one, and it also comes with all of these instructions that we have not been using anyway. Let's move on to the main attraction, and I'm going to make him smile for the camera. So like all of the other Seacons that I've been unboxing and filming, I will go ahead and drop in a photo of the original figure right here. And much like the other Seacons, he is a retool of a previously used mold. So I'll go ahead and drop in a picture of the original mold for this figure right now. Okay. And we're back. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a closer look at him before I fumble around. He's got this really interesting color scheme going on. Uh, his mouth opens. He's got some pretty sharp teeth. He's got a nice little uh, sharky tongue in there. So, uh, candy gram. Candy gram. Let's go ahead and start to transform him. I like the yellow eyes against the green head right there. And I just noticed these little paint applications right here on his shoulders. I think they pop against the paint pretty nice. So let me fumble around with this guy and get him into robot mode. I know the, the tail kind of backs up in here, so we'll go ahead and move that that way. Probably the robot legs open. see, I wonder if I need to work the head mold first. Yep, it pops open like this, which should, there we go, ha ha, that's what I thought. Alleviated the blockage for the legs. So we'll fold those legs down. And these pegs right here, we'll go in these slots right down over here, and then the tail fin just kind of collapses into the rest of the leg. Take the entire waist, turn it around so we can get the legs facing forward, which means we'll take the arms, move the hands like this, put the arm down, and then we have to take this entire backpack section. Ah, okay. So the entire head's on this double hinge right here. So when you bring him back, you open the back panel, and you put the double hinge out, and those pegs allow you to, or those hinges allow you to angle the head diagonally so it pegs in. And uh, these guys are still ridiculously huge rabbit feet. I don't really know what to do with these guys. Stay like that? I think that, that might be what these feet do. <laughs> Those are comically large. Why? Sharks don't have feet. Why does he have, why does he have a foot for a shark mode? And there we go. There is the overbite figure. Let's go ahead, take a little bit closer look. I'm just going to take these weapons out after I just put them in. We'll give him a once over. So I think he has one of the better head sculpts of the bunch. Uh, he's got, he doesn't have the cool detailing like the sea wing figure had uh, up in the little horn section of his helmet. But I feel like he has, is one of the few of the Seacons whose face actually feels like it's a giant sea robot's head. Like I, I feel like this would be some kind of like maybe fins or something. I don't know. I don't know. Read your Greek mythology. I don't know. It looks aquatic. I was really afraid that the pink and the purple and this seafoam green would just look really ridiculous in person because the pictures did not look very, very well done. Um, I am kind of eating my words on that. I think this figure actually does look pretty solid. There is Overbite with his Wolverine claws. I'm pretty okay with this figure. Uh, I like it. So, let's move on. Now this one I saved for last, specifically because it's the one I've been the most excited about. I never had this figure growing up as a kid. I always wanted it. And 
giant squids, and squids are some of my favorite aquatic life, so I really wanted to save this one for last. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it open because I'm really excited for this one. And we shall see how this figure turned out. So go ahead and take a look at that packaging. Transformers, Generation Selects, Seacon, Tentacle, which is such a really badass name. <laughs> Tentacle? Uh, Tentacle? Tent get it? Yeah, you get it. It's fine. Once again, it's got a slip cover, which we're going to take off right now. It's got a brown box with a Decepticon symbol on it, and I'm really giddy right now because I want to take a look at this figure so bad. Oh man, this is really good. I really like it a lot. All right, he is in his box sideways, so let me go ahead and position it right here. He looks really angry. He looks like somebody stepped on his fin. Fin? Tentacle. Tentacle. Um, Tentacle, because his name's Tentacle. <laughs> so there's the figure right there, grinning in all of its glory. Uh, it's got a fist, another part of the axe, the one that kind of came with C-Wing, and he's got two blasters. So I'm not going to waste any time. I want to get this guy out of the box because I'm really excited for this one. And there he is in all of his squid glory. I found something solid color to put behind him so the camera would not have issues focusing in and out. I know that's probably been an issue. So <laughs> I'm glad it only took me four videos to figure it out. Before we go and look at the figure... Let's see what comes in the box. Uh, two pew pew blasters. Pew 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 pew. Another one of those really cool hand axes that has that nice light pink metallic paint on it. And the instructions, which we all know what we do with the instructions. And go over here. Let's look at this figure again. Man, that looks great. Ah. So again, I'll go ahead and put a picture in right now of the original figure for comparison. And this one is really interesting because, yes, he is indeed a retool of a previously used figure. And I'll go ahead and drop that photo in right here. But man, they look completely different. So the original figure that was used, or the original mold for the uh, original figure, was for a car, and this would have been the front of the car. But uh, I think it's really interesting how they retooled this figure to make him this really obnoxious looking squid. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I actually don't own the, the previously used figure for this mold, so I have no idea how to transform this one. I could probably use the instructions, but am I gonna? Let me get a close-up of this face real quick. Look at those paint applications. So this is kind of a matte paint. I can definitely tell if you're not careful, it can chip. So be careful with the, the lip, the teeth, the eyes, and the black around the face, because that will definitely chip off if you are not careful. So what he looks like on the back. What if you were scuba diving and this is just something that swam right next to you? That would terrify me. So looking back here, I know here are the legs for the robot. That's the head. These are his arms. So I know he's going to stand up like this somehow. Take the squid legs. Okay, so this lifts up. Waist swivels. This is on some kind of hinge. Oh, okay. So his entire face gets turned backwards. Which way do his toes point? Let me pull these legs apart. All right, those are his feet. The leg. His knees on kind of like this double hinge. I have a feeling that's more of a transformation component. Oh. He's got a heel tilt. That's cool. Not a lot of them have that heel tilt. Okay, so it looks like the waist 
is on a double waist swivel. So I think what will happen is this will get turned around and then make sure that this is in the clear and then we will turn this lower half around. So basically you just turned this entire middle blue section from it being right here to it being right here, right there. So these are the arms. We'll go ahead and flip his fins back, or his tentacle tips. Oh, there we go. I know that this moves forward, but this waist is blocked. Oh, you know what? I bet I was supposed to do that first. Yep, I was. All right, so before you twist the waist around, you have to go ahead and rotate the torso forward to release the head. Then you can go ahead and swivel the top part of the waist around. And then we can put the top part up top. Let's see, does that just kind of fit over there? Does it peg in somewhere? feel like it does peg in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have these two pegs. We have these little two peg slots right here, right above the eyes. And it just goes in like that. And this is kind of, I guess, a back shield for his head. Can we move these legs? Yeah. We can move these legs back. And there we have Tentakill. Joints are a little loose-ish. Its thighs are thick with three C's. A little back heavy. Little back heavy. It's got all of this that it's got to support. There we go. Tentacle. Let's go ahead, take a little bit of a closer look. Face sculpt. Not gonna lie, a little plain. Uh, the pink and the gold and the green eyes. Not my favorite. I think Sea Wing still has the best head sculpt out of everybody. And I still think Lobclaw might be my favorite figure, but this one might be my second favorite. I think this one is really, really cool. He's got more of the pink and blue, and he's got this really light pinkish for the squid, uh, the squid mode. So he's got a couple of uh, duotone pinks going on. Nice paint application for the Decepticon symbol. Uh, I do think it's really cool that he's got rocker. Uh, rocker heel joints. That's something you don't see. I think the only other C-Con that came with the, uh, the heel joints was Snap Trap. So let's go ahead and put the weapons on this guy. Let's see. Get in there. Kind of hard to pose this guy just because of the limited mobility on the thighs here. Much like the snap trap, he does not want to stand because he's just way too back heavy. But man, he looks cool. There he is. And I am embarrassed to say how long it took me to get him armed and standing up because he just does not balance very well because of all of that stuff hanging off the back. But let's go ahead and move him off to the side. Don't you dare fall. Let's go ahead and bring Overbite back in. I think they look pretty solid together. Let me go ahead and adjust the camera. Yeah, I think they're looking pretty good together. All right, so I don't have the biggest work area, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of maneuvering around here. So we have the Tentakill. We have the Overbite figure. Here is the Gulf figure from the first round. Here is Lob Claw. We'll put him right here. Nah, you know what? I want to put him right there. You'll see him in a second. So we'll have Sea Wing. We'll put him off to the side since he's got a big wingspan. And then we've got Snap Trap, which will go in the back. So I'll take the camera. We'll get a close up of these guys. All right, there it is. There's the band photo.
So the entire set of the Seacons is here. This isn't the last Seacon video I'm going to make. I'm going to do one more where I form the big robot uh, that I've kind of been teasing throughout all of these uh, unboxing videos. So I, I think it's going to be really fun and I think it's going to look very, very cool. If this is your first time here and you like what you saw, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to stick around. I would greatly appreciate it. If this isn't your first time here and you've come back, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate you coming back and watching these videos. It does mean the world to me. So for right now, I'm going to let you go. So we'll see you real soon. And until next time, stay spooky. Yeah.